counts. Okay. So today I'm going to be talking about this idea of mentors, mentors and mentorships and spotting the correct mentors and finding the right mentors and sources of information. Now, this is taken from Max Weber's Sociology of Religion. And this really, this was a very pivotal understanding for me uh, a few years ago. And I use it all the time when I'm looking at who is giving me access to information or what are they trying to give me access to. And this really helps as a framework for understanding of whether or not to trust that or um, should I listen to that and everything. So let me go over this. You have... Okay, so on the left, we have salvation, right? We have otherworldly salvation and innerworldly salvation. Otherworldly salvation would be outside of yourself. And then innerworldly salvation will be something that's inside of yourself. And then we have access. Over here, we have to monopolize access. And then we have this idea to expand access. Now, in these quadrants, right, we have the teacher of ethics. The teacher of ethics seems to seeks to expand innerworldly access to salvation. Um, all right. On the bottom right, we have the prophets. The prophets seeks to expand otherworldly salvation. On the left over here, the left bottom quadrant, we have the priest who seeks to monopolize otherworldly salvation and on the top we have a magician who seeks to monopolize innerworldly salvation so innerworldly salvation we have magical control of divine will and otherworldly salvation revelation of a new divine doctrine monopolize divine control for a fee and then to expand is divine revelation for free So, oh, let's go into the definitions real quick. So teacher of ethics, right? The authority of the teacher of ethics is traditional, kind of has this ancient wisdom. The prophet, the authority of the prophet is charismatic, personal revelation. The priest, the authority of the priest is bureaucratic, hierarchical um, office. And then the authority of the magician, the authority of the magician is also charismatic, personal revelation. Now... I generally am always looking to find in my sources of information, the teachers of ethics. The teacher of ethics generally is someone who has sort of finished the game. They have no skin in the game. They are kind of more of like a coach of the game. And they have either already won or they have generally either gotten what they have wanted or needed out of the game. And so they kind of just give information. They just share information or knowledge um, for no really reason other than to just give back or share information or knowledge or wisdom. And these teachers of ethics are everywhere in every field, everywhere you can find them. But generally they will be they will be much less sort of popular than for example the magician or the prophet or even the priest generally the teacher of ethics is someone who is very very low key uh, but just has a ton of valuable information a ton of wisdom a ton of valuable information um and 
it's not to, it's not it's not exclusive that they are not going to be popular i'm just saying that in general they tend to not be sort of like the star or the eye or, or like the main one um sharing that information because that's not their their objective their objective is something else their objective is not to be the center or the star um and so when i'm looking for <clears throat> information and digging for information whatever the realm of information i'm looking for i'm generally looking to find the teacher of ethics and i know now when i come across a magician or a prophet um, or a priest or a teacher of ethics and so a magician when I think about if I could put this into like cultural terms, if I had to put this into something of like cultural terms, let's just say, I would say something like a teacher of ethics would be maybe someone like, like a Rick Rubin. Um, Rick Rubin has this kind of like ancient understanding right like when people look at him he just kind of looks like <laughs> like a like a monk or something like that right um and he just seems to just kind of like have this kind of like this knowing i guess or something whereas if i think of like a magician i think of someone more like andrew tate where they have this 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 knowledge or this this information like i can save you right but you're gonna have to pay me i can save you but you're gonna have to pay me. um and so they're extremely charismatic extremely charismatic and but the 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 door to that to that knowledge is blocked by a fee so in the case of andrew tate right he has like Hustlers University or the War Room, everything like that. And everything he does, everything he did at the time was to funnel into that uh place, into that, into that, whatever. Like, um, and when I think of a prophet uh in cultural terms, I'll say someone like XXX, that's that was something that I really like. Um, but who obviously was extremely charismatic and was had this very kind of what had this had this very like prophetic essence to about him about his about himself and you know a lot of times how, how much he would share information and everything like that to help his listeners and everything you would you know you know what i mean like if you if oh yeah it it that's just one example. And then in another cultural sense, if I were to say like a priest, I don't know why, but for me, it comes to mind someone like Kanye West. Um, someone like Kanye West, who basically kind of like, not arbitrages, but at the time, kind of like arbitraged this relationship to to god through something like yeezy right or through through himself or something like that and this only this this is very per, per, peculiar in the sense of like when we're talking about salvation or something like that but people you have to understand that People are always trying to sell you something. People are always going to try and sell you. Uh, I, I think the most potent drugs that people sell are things like happiness, validation, um, purpose, vision, love, attention, salvation, uh, uh, fulfillment, freedom. These are some of the biggest drugs that people will try to sell you. And I'm always filtering who's selling me, whether they are a magician, a priest, a prophet, or a teacher of ethics, right? 
because that filter helps me gauge their 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 own self interest in in sharing that information with me and that knowledge helps me navigate okay how should i approach what they're what they're offering to me what the information they're sharing with me is um Right. So if someone, so if someone's trying, so, so for example, if someone is, is coming up to you and selling and selling you a dream of like, okay, escaping the matrix or whatever, or, or buying back your freedom or, uh, you know, making X dollars amount a month with this solution or whatever. And then they come back and then they charge you a fee for that. Well, we know that this is a magician. This is a magician. Someone is selling you something at a fee, which is not wrong. But that's the role that they're playing. Um, if someone comes to you and they're saying, you know, they're sharing information with you, they have sources that they could, you know, monetize off of or, or do something. <clears throat> and they're still in the game, but they're just sharing information openly with you. And they're not asking for anything in return or something like that. Well, we might know that this might be someone of a, of, a, of a prophet, of a prophet. Could be a teacher of ethics or a prophet. Um, and then uh, a priest. <sighs> Priests is, I, I don't really come across priest too often. Priest would be someone more, I would say, like middle management, I would say who who I guess would maybe be like a sales rep or something like that right like a sell a, a sales rep would be more acting like a priest in that you want this and you they can help you get that through having a call or a connection with this uh this 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 company or this person right so someone like it would be it would be if we think about like Grant Cardone his sales development reps who are pushing his Cardone program would be priests. And then Cardone would be more, um, more of like a magician. Right. But the thing is sometimes people can fluctuate in their roles. So if we think of someone like Grant Cardone, he has a sales development reps who act as a priest. And then Grant Cardone acts as a magician, but then in Grant Cardone's content in his content, he acts more of like a prophet and in his, maybe his own family or something like that, or to his children or something like that, he might be more of a teacher of ethics. And so that's a very real example of how fluid these roles are, right? So when you're watching Grant Cardone content, when you're seeing it pop up on your feed or clips or YouTube, whatever, you're getting the profit version of Grant Cardone. Now, all of a sudden though, maybe he hits you with that call to action or something like that, where then he transitioned into more of a magician where he says like, okay, I can help you with that, but you know, go download this or go do this or do whatever. Um, and it's very, this is I always use it. I'm telling you, I literally always, always, always use this. Whenever I'm looking at or examining or filtering information that is being presented to me. And I'm telling you that I'm always looking for the teacher of ethics. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to be a magician or a prophet or a priest because we all have to do and maneuver some of these roles to get to where we're trying to go. And so the way that I look at this, um, yeah, managers, okay. Um, if I go down like into a business sense, right, this is just kind of like a very rough, a rough outline, but a founder, right, a founder might be more, let me scroll back up to this one because this just makes more sense. The labels here kind of, I think are off, but as a founder internally, your team, you will most likely have to be more of like a teacher of ethics and more of, more of, 
you will most likely be a teacher of ethics to your team, right? Now, when we're looking at investors, you might be more of a profit. And then when we're looking at customers, you might be more of a magician because you have to get that fee, right? You have to monetize somehow. So internally, your people, you would be the teacher of ethics. Outwardly, you would be a profit. And then outwardly monetization, you would have to be the magician. Um, and then for the priest, the priest would just mainly probably be, I don't know. I don't know who the priest would be in that situation, but you get the point. You get what I'm saying to you. You get what I'm saying to you. So this is a great framework to use going forward when you're looking for information and just, uh, going forward. So something to think about, but yeah, mentor archetypes. Sociology of Religion, Max Weber, Magician, Teacher of Ethics, Prophet, and the Priest. I'm going to end it there. And, um, yeah. All right. Stop recording. Uh.